Okay, so the one thing that I promised you was another video to go in the Zoom advanced settings that has to do with using the whiteboard. I can't do it in a live Zoom because when I'm in when I am in a live Zoom, you can't see my screen. You can see your screen and the student side of it, which is good too. It's good for you to experience that, but you can't see what I see. So here I am in my Zoom and I would be going to share screen, which if you're looking for the whiteboard doesn't always make sense. We learned today, and I'll show you the, um, the document in a minute, that a Chromebook isn't going to play well with a whiteboard. But here it is. It's usually the very first option. You click on it and then you click share and it will open it up on your screen. Now, it looks different on your screen as a teacher than it does on your students, and we also learned that today. So what you'll need to tell your students is to float their mouse up here. It will say, I believe, like Mrs. Brooks or Susie Brooks is sharing her screen, and somewhere around this area, it will say options. When they click on that, it will say annotate. Once they click on that, they will get this toolbar that will allow them to click and get a text box or click and choose something to draw with or a shape to make, whatever it is that they want. They can click and make stamps. I like the hearts actually. Or a spotlight to be able to really focus on one part, I believe. Oh no, it's a little red. It's like a laser. It really should say laser, not spotlight. As a teacher, you're able to erase it and go in. Actually, I believe that each student can as well. You can clear it as a teacher and make sure that you clear all of your drawings. And then also, as a teacher, I believe that there are some settings that you can change to make sure that you're seeing the students' names as they're typing in there. So there we go. When I go up and I float my mouse on you are share screen sharing you can click on more and then you can show names on annotation or annotators so that way you can tell who's drawing what which is key but that still brings us back to the fact that the Chromebooks are not able to annotate so a lot of people were bummed out about that we had a good cry for ourselves in our session today we did talk about other whiteboard tools that are out there. You don't have to use the whiteboard within Zoom. And if you're on a Chromebook yourself, you probably won't be able to access it. But just to kind of give you an idea of what it is and how it works, I thought that I would run you through this video so that you could check it out. If it becomes available for a Chromebook, I will be sure to let you know.